Guys, Austin got himself a new toy last night. We're just walking out in the garage. We're gonna check this thing out. Austin, my man. Show us what we got, bud. Welcome back to our channel. Guys, it is Memorial Day weekend and of course we have terrible weather going on. It just would not be a typical Memorial Day weekend if we did not have super cold, rainy weather and Mother Nature is staying on course and giving us a ton of rain, wind and cold weather, which, you know, honestly, it's hard to say that we're grateful for it right now because we're so excited for the warm weather. But given the fact that we did not get very much snow, like I've said a hundred times, we're grateful for the rain and we're gonna take it. Today we are gonna make a Costco run. It's been a while since we've done a great big Costco haul and now that the kids are out for summer, we need to stock up on snacks and food and things like that. Easy lunch ideas. So we're gonna take Claire and Carmen with us and we're gonna stock up for all the things we are gonna need for summer break. Today we're cruising Clay's truck to Costco. We finally got it back from the people that were painting it and fixing it from his car accident. It's finally completed and we're gonna take this so we can load up the bed of the truck. My car is currently in the shop because the transmission has been having issues for several months now and it's back in the shop. They're Ford actually agreed to finally just completely replace the transmission put a whole new one in there so I have a rental car this little tiny forerunner not big enough for much so taking the truck today so we can really stock up on some stuff what are you girls snacking on back here frosted flakes <laughs> both got a bag of frosted flakes it's a good way to take cereal along with us in a plastic bag <laughs> Carmen you and dad are matching all black dad looks like he's ready to go rob a bank he's like black shoes black jacket black everything I Got purple shoes. Oh, you have purple shoes on. Not clay though. He's what's that? All black. I don't from know the why. shoes, his hat, to the head. Oh, is this feeling like dressing <laughs> all black? To, not robbing a bank, but maybe it's the weather. Maybe. Kind of gloomy today. Take it to the pool. Yeah. Take some of those to California. Yeah. Carl, come look at this thing right over here. Yeah, I know. It's awesome. Baby, you got a beach towel? How bad do you want one of those? Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. I don't think that's on our list today. Yep, it is. What are we buying these for? Summer. Just for summer? Yeah, we can have a lot of water balloons. Yeah, that's a huge package of balloons. We can do a lot of balloon water fights with that. This is like a little splash pad for babies. <laughs> Maybe we should get out of work. Yeah, we sold this our food. Balloon. I like this one. Very cool. I like this. We should get it. Talk to your mama. How much money do you need? Um, oh, right up here. $22. 22 bucks. You put it in the pool, and then you just like sit down like this. Yeah. And it's even got a spot to hold your drink. Yeah. Some water. <laughs> we came to get food, but uh, we have picked up a new pan set. Terry's looking to see if there's anything else she wants to get. We got this ninja one. This one right here that Carmen is holding down. Carmen, you make a great weight. No, I'm just sitting on it. Like, <laughs> I just sit on the wet part. I hear you. There's a food ninja. Never stick. Uh, what else are you looking over here? A brazier enabled cast iron. Can. Yeah. See one you like. Looks like it comes in blue or red. Tail maybe. Oven safe. Do you have a spot to put it? That is the question. Well, I'll make sure of our old pan set. I know that. And that will freeze. But will all the new pans right there fit in our cabinet plus that one right there? Don't know. You're sure? Okay, we'll figure that out. Yes. The new pan set has led to other items. We're looking at some storage containers. We found some right here by a company called Softworks. They look kind of cool. So I've been on the hunt for airtight containers to put like noodles and different things like that in the pantry. I went to Ikea last week hoping to find some, but they said they are having a hard time getting shipments in. Imagine that. They used to carry like really cool containers that were airtight, but I don't have them anymore. So even though these are not the exact sizes I wanted, they would work for what I need them for. So I think I'm gonna grab one. Which is what? What do you plan on putting in them? Well, like noodles and oatmeal and just trying to get all the boxes out of our pantry and have it be more organized. So this way I can get rid of like all the cracker boxes and all that kind okay. of stuff. So it's more, and this helps it to last a lot longer. So that's why I want the airtight. Looks like for 70 bucks. Let's throw one of those on. Is one gonna do it? Like I said, it's hard because when you go to Ikea, you can choose the sizes that you like need. So I could have bought like six of this size. Which would have been nice for sure. You know what I mean? so right. You, with this, it's kind of, you have to just take what you get in the box. But these bigger ones are nice for noodles or, you know, pretzels, things like that. Do we have any that are ready to eat? These ones are all pretty green. You can just let them sit. Yeah, it's going to take a while for them to get yellow. 
There you go. Good. Don't spill them. All right, good job. Let's go grab pineapple and bananas. Yummy pineapples. Soft. I like this bed because it's like bigger than my bed, but it's not like giant as Claire's bed. It's the same size as Claire's bed. What? Crazy, huh? Seems so small in this great big store. <laughs> this one right here, Carmen, is the same size as your bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, my bed is tiny. <laughs> yeah, my bed is so much bigger than my room. <laughs> Careful, don't fall. Don't want these to come crashing down on you. Okay, hop off so we don't get in trouble. Hurry fast. One thing we are looking for here at Costco is fast and easy lunch ideas, stuff that Austin can pack and take to work with him, and stuff that the kids can quickly and easily make by themselves. My kids love these crescent rolls with the chicken salad. I'm gonna grab a case of these and some chicken salad. That'll be an easy lunch for this upcoming week before we head off to California. These 4th of July plates are something I feel like I need to have <laughs> but you're gonna have more to say about it than that. Get an early jump on it. It's also Memorial Day weekend, so we could use these. It's true. You know, it's this weekend. True. Here, let me put them under. Very patriotic. Under there for you. All right, now we need some baggies. I like to stock up on these when we come here because they're much better priced than going to Walmart or anywhere else to grab them. So let's grab some of the quartz. I like to grab the variety box that's down here a little ways further that has a snack pack and just a variety pack like this right one here. here. Yeah. Okay. And the gallon ones are on sale, so we're gonna grab a box of those oh, as well. All right. Since we finally made it to Costco, Carmen found her acai bowls that she was looking for the other day. She's not messing around. We're stocking up, it looks like. <laughs> we're not gonna run out of those anytime soon. Well, actually, you're right, because there's only six in one bag. So 12 bowls. 12. Better pace yourself. Yeah. Carmen, we can't have that in our house because Dad's allergic. I'm not cooking that in our house either. It'll make your house stink like fish forever. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we just found something we have not seen before. Dragon fruit juice. You guys remember when we tried this in Hawaii? No, we tried a yellow kind and it was so good. So good. Really, we so buy, good. We did buy a yellow one from the store here and it was expensive, but it was really, really good. Really? The pink one I remember in Hawaii was not good. It did not taste that great. I wonder how the juice is. I mean, good. I would assume it's not fantastic, but we could try it. Maybe if you add enough sugar to it, <laughs> it would be good. Maybe. <laughs> Should we try it? You guys want to try the dragon fruit juice? Claire doesn't care. Let's give it a whirl. We'll give it a shot. What do you think? She's it for tag. So we'll She's it for tag? Yeah. Carmen and Claire are trying to find a way to entertain themselves while we shop here. We have an intense game of tag going on. We've got to check out here soon, but is there any last things you want to get, Carmen? These. Chocolate raisins? They're so good. The raisins? Yeah, they're so good. Really? So good. Peanut clusters these. are my favorite. They're so good. Anything else you want to get? Brownie brittle, truffles. I kind of like these fruit things, the layered fruit bars. They're pretty tasty. All right, we got both our carts out here to the back of the truck. We're gonna get it stacked in here nice and tight. I do have a spare tire in the back of my truck and because my tires are quite large, it takes up quite a bit of room. So we're gonna have to get creative on how we're gonna stack it. Hopefully this food should last us a little while. The kids being out of school, it seems like we go through the food a lot quicker than normal. So we could be back here in a few weeks stocking up again, but we're excited to get home and to try out this new pan set. Our other pan set is just kind of getting to where it kind of is rust, it's really scratched through and uh, probably not safe to use much longer. So we're gonna toss those out, get this new set open, give it a whirl and uh, hopefully get our pantry organized with those things that Terry bought, all those containers that seal. So we're all about organization and you know, the better we get at that, the happier and cleaner things are in our house. So much stuff at Costco. We're gonna find the easiest way to unload all this. Put it in the wagon. Yep. Just be very careful with the produce. Don't bruise it. Be gentle. We got everything hauled in the house. Now comes the chore of finding a spot for everything and getting it put away. Terry has been organizing the pantry again, trying to get things to fit using those new containers. She got them washed, got stuff put in there, and uh, it's looking a lot better right now. We got to get the stuff hauled downstairs, all the extra stuff that's going to the basement storage, and we're gonna need some boys for that. Owen's right over here with his, with his Christmas jammies on. Just took off running. Is Austin available? Do you know? Have you seen him? I think he's available. All right. Can I go find him? Carmone. 
yeah. Breaking in that Costco food already? Yeah, yeah. Having some oranges? Yeah. I love those oranges. I know, they're so good. Especially when like the little skin part is peeled off and so that they're mandarin oranges. So much better. <laughs> So much. Did you show them the containers? Not yet. You know, chatting with everyone first. So I probably could have used one more box of containers, but. Kind of spendy little buggers, aren't they? They are spendy. Well, all containers are spendy. So did the best I could with what we had. Pantry is very small, so we don't have a lot of room to work with, but got all the trail mix, crackers, nuts, that kind of stuff, drink packets. And over here, we got all the chocolate chips. Nice. And so to be clear, we used to have a giant basket right there. Coconut, yeah. And we still haven't painted this. Remember when we put that in? Yeah. We showed that one time. That. Could have put a shelf across the top right here above the door, like right up here on the back side. That would have been a good spot to put some stuff, I feel. Noodles was the big thing I needed storage for. So I got noodles here, up here, and then these two also have noodles in them. So it's great. Got the noodles organized. Noodles are covered. Guys, Austin got himself a new toy last night. We're just walking out in the garage. We're gonna check this thing out. Austin, my man. Show us what we got, bud. What are we looking at? Take a look at it. Oh, right there. Beautiful. Tell us about your new pony. It's a pony that I've wanted for so long. Dying for it, actually. And it's so clean. It's a 2003 Honda CR250, two stroke. And the guy before me took way good care of it. Put 22 plastics on it. That's um, about this inch, bud. So it's got a boysen clutch cover on it with a red powder coat casing, which is not my favorite look. I think it looks really good. I and mean, most of them look pretty dirty, but having that thing powder coated makes it look super clean. Even uh, the little bit of red right there. Yeah, and it's got an FMF Gold Series pipe on it. So but some nice rental bars. It's a sweet bike. Tires are fairly new. Yeah. And it was a pretty good deal, right? Yeah, we got a killer deal for how the year and the uh, and the condition out of because these bikes are so wanted everyone wants these bikes so we got yeah. a killer deal on it because you weren't getting a full range when you're kicking it down I really think guys yeah you have to get a full range and a compression kit that's because they have short legs. All right, Austin's gonna throw on his cowboy boots real quick and fire this thing up for us yeah, it is pretty loud and pretty smoky Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Pretty loud. Bleeders are dope. Smells good though. <laughs> One cool thing is my buddy, he has this in his two stroke. And you can, cause like you can mix the gas with the oil to lubricate it. And you can put in like cotton candy or root beer scent, like oil. So you're riding behind someone, it'll really? smell like root beer, cotton candy or whatever you want it to be. We might go riding more often if your bike smells <laughs> like something good. It'd be so cool, I'm trying. Guys, <laughs> okay, you may have heard Claire in Costco. She said it kind of quietly, but she dropped the ultimate bomb. <laughs> Sold our boat. For us this summer, we sold our boat, and as of right now, we have no plans of replacing that boat. Sad, sad day here at the McNeil house, but it's true. We felt like it was the best thing to do and the best thing for our family at this time. So yeah, we're uh, we're just gonna kind of ride it out and see how this year goes. You know, we we follow the news pretty close, and our guts were telling us to to sell the boat, hang on for a little bit, see what next year brings. I think there'll be a lot of boats on the market, and they'll probably be half priced. Hopefully, if my gut is correct. It's it's been wrong before, <laughs> so I'm not sure. But all the signs are telling us that's what's coming. So, you know, we did get Austin a dirt bike. I might pick one up, so we'll at least have a couple of those. But that's kind of where we're at right now. So I'm thinking that we might rent a boat for a few days, you know, hit a few different spots. I'd like to do a weekend at Flaming Gorge. Our family's never been over there. I've been there a few times. One time boating, definitely a handful of times ice fishing, but uh, the south end of the lake is super cool. So we gotta do that, at least rent a boat for four or five times, maybe. I said a few, but maybe four or five. <laughs> Changed my mind already. We we sold our boat, but we're not sure if we can stay off the water. It's gonna be a difficult summer for us to not be on a boat. We've had a boat for like 10 years and it's gonna be very weird to not have one, but it's all right. The other thing we got going on is Owen is playing football again. And you know, they obviously have started practice back in March. And so as it gets further into the summer, those practices are gonna be more frequent. So I think it's gonna be harder for us to get to the lake, especially in those late months, like, you know, August, September and October, if the weather holds out. But with the, given the spring they're having, it might happen that way, yeah. but it just makes it harder, you know, just we just want to make sure that we, you know, give him enough time and, and we make it to all those events that he's going to have. So, guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.